Okay, so I got my combi valve, I got my vacuum solenoid, um, and I got a vacuum gauge here as well, just to show vacuum going through. Uh, solenoid is not energized right now. So this is, the outermost nipple is engine vacuum. As you can see, when I pump up vacuum, it actually retains vacuum uh, because the valve is closed right now. It's not activating the combi valve. You can see there's no vacuum here. So no vacuum is going through the valve and no vacuum is being dumped. Uh, obviously, if this valve were dumping right now, it wouldn't be holding vacuum. So that was my main concern here when you saw smoke coming out here because you put smoke in the vacuum feed line and you saw smoke coming out here. I've never seen a valve, uh, they usually fail in the open or closed position. Right now it's in the closed position, um, meaning there's no vacuum going through here. There's no continuity between these two vacuum lines. I'm going to attach vacuum now, uh, sorry, I'm going to attach power to the solenoid now. It's going to open up. Momentarily the vacuum is going to drop because the vacuum is going to rush through here. Okay, You can see the needle moved up the needle dropped here because partially some of this vacuum had to got lost through the line here. So I'm just going to pump it up some more. Okay, now you see vacuum is going through the two nipples. It still hasn't come out here. Okay, the only time anything is going to come out here is when this valve is turned off so that this guy here can close. This one should be in the open position right now. Okay, uh, now you'll see what I mean when I open when I take power off of the solenoid the solenoid these two these two contacts will will no longer be joined this one's going to close the vacuum is going to retain stay on this side this side is going to drop okay it's actually dropping right now a little okay this one's holding vacuum that one's holding vacuum I'm going to open the valve now instantly this vacuum disappears because it comes out here. This combi valve was in the open position. It's now closed because the vacuum that was stored in here is now being vented. You can see vacuum is still holding on the intake motor side. And what I was saying is that somebody possibly at one point swapped these two lines around. And what happens then is when you try to build vacuum there's no vacuum that's being built because it's being it goes to atmosphere at this point so when you had smoke in the system it was going into this nipple and it came out here once you energize the system you're able to build vacuum because the dump is is taken out of the equation you're reconnecting these two two uh, fittings here okay and you can see everything's got vacuum again okay but the problem is when everything is when the let's say the engine's running right now and the secondary air solenoid comes on uh, combi valve opens everything's perfect but once the computer tells it to go off the vacuum here drops because it's dumped through the solenoid and the combi valve stays open. Look at the vacuum. The combi valve stays open. And you get your lean running condition because let's say this is the engine and it's sucking air here. It's being vented right away. This is where your lean condition is coming from. And the combi valve is still open. So, um, yeah. Hope I didn't sound it, make it sound too confusing for you. Hope this cleared it up a little bit. Um, it could very well be that this valve was stuck halfway in between um, so that even in the correctly oriented position that vacuum is dumped to atmosphere but I have never seen that happen before because right now in the off position you can see vacuum builds there's no dump and once you energize the solenoid vacuum still retains okay but it goes over to the combi valve uh, and I've never seen one stick halfway where it would dump vacuum as well through atmosphere 
Again, the only time it's supposed to dump is when it's de-energized and it dumps a combi valve vacuum. The combi valve is closed. The vacuum from the engine can't go anywhere. That's why it still reads high vacuum here. Okay, uh, I'm sure your issue was solved. Obviously it was, but uh, what confused me was seeing smoke. And the only way the smoke can come out, like I said, is if these two lines are reversed. I've never seen a valve cause smoke to come out here from the intake side um, simply because when they va when they fail they either work or don't um, and in which case like I said smoke should never come from the intake source and come out from the uh, um, dump so side of the solenoid. I'm starting to ramble sorry about that great videos keep them up um, I just thought I'd explain a little bit further in case my text replies were confusing. Thanks.